Hello friends, this is Uur Wind, and this is a new year. Now we are 2024. 2023 was a good year. 2024 hopefully also will be a good year. Anyway, it has a good start. This mock-up seems to work very well. It's a bit narrow here, and that's purpose on that. Because I don't want the boom to be big, the smaller the better. Now, it's two reef in it. And the uh, purpose is to these lines. They're gonna be in permanently. This will make a little wind resistance, but that's not too much. If I didn't do that, I have to make the boom bigger, and that would also make wind resistance. So they go all down there and here, like I showed you yesterday. These things here, and this with the um, roof, and this will, of course, be better made. Maybe with cleats on the outside, and I use. The first one will be there permanently, and then there's two reefs. And you just pull a string in the front, and I pull a string in the back. And that's a reef. And then do it again, as the second reef. So, well, now, this is the first mock-up. Now I'm gonna make a real mock-up. Now I got the dimensions, how long it is, how wide it is, how now high it is. And here is the plywood. Now I'm gonna make a whole one in plywood. So, beginning and then, of course, more work on the Hinge and uh, I'm gonna do that a bit more, and then I can turn the wood back on the even keel. Hello, friends. Today is the first day of the new year, and people are not working, but very, very lucky. Chen is here. He do programming for the heat and everything like that. So he's a much clever man, you know, with the computers and everything. And here is the mock-up for the new boom. Like here, here. And in here is the reefing things. And it's a kind of fingers don't really get into her. But luckily, Thanks to the strings. I can just pull it down here with the string, you know. So I don't even have to go inside there. Let's see if I can make it. Yeah, like this. You see, and then I do it on the other side. Two, and then I cleat it up or do something like this. So this is, then I'm gonna do this long. And now these two things are gonna be into the plywood. And then I'm gonna do it again and do it better. And then everything is gonna go folded down into this box. And when I'm satisfied with that, I'm gonna do it in composite with divinacell and epoxy. And I'm gonna make two of them. One for each of the side by side masts it's three square meter on each one so that's gonna hopefully give me plenty of rain water to drink someone asked if I'm gonna put the filter on it no I drink rain water like it is you know because this is what we used to do <laughs> in old days you know so my immune system is used to living things you know so now we go over just a little look at the uh, same way ladder, I'm working at the same time, that's why the boat is on the side. Now the port side is here. So this works very well, it goes into here. I'm going to mark here, 
I got a bit stronger there. And then I'm gonna fix it there. And thank you, Shad. And thank you everyone for supporting me for this year. Has been and also and if you like to subscribe, yeah, well that's a good thing to do that too. But thank you. Hello again, so here's the idea. The rope is coming in here. Go for the side eyelet here. And then I just tighten it up into this stretch and then I can glitch it on the outside. So I never have to get my fingers into here. So this is the idea. Hello again. Now it's the end of the day. And uh, I finished with the uh, swim ladder. Here's an extra strong point for where it leans against the hull. Two layers of 450 grams in, in the epoxy. And here is this for the deflector line. And I drill the holes here to hold the ladder. And so, well, good thing, a good start to the new year.